Welcome to Wave Wasters, I'm Matt, and in this video I'm going to build a set of experimental wing fins. Starting off for these winged fins, I'm going to need to make a fin blank and I'm going to use this maple parquet flooring. I have a box of it. It's a pretty good size. I don't want to make these fins too big starting off or too small. So I'm going to glue two pieces up to give me roughly two inch wide blank. And then it's like four and a half, five inches long. So I'll be able to foil it and then slice it and put a bevel in it. And that'll give me like a nice 90 degree fin and hopefully these work. I've seen a couple of videos of people surfing fins like this and they look pretty similar to surfing finless but maybe with a little more hold. So I'm gonna glue these up and then I can start foiling them. Okay, I have my two fin blanks glued up. I'm going to remove the tape, draw out the foil on these. I'm also gonna draw a couple 45 degree angles on the ends of the fin blank, and then I'm gonna just sand that down and just make sure it's like a nice 45 so then I can slice off a piece of my foiled fin blank and then I can flip it over and it'll butt up together in like a nice joint and it should give me a nice 90 degree um, to fin once it's all glued up and it should have the foil like throughout it so we'll see if that works and then um, if everything looks good we'll jump into glassing so let's dry with this foil Thank you. 
All right, I have my two fins foiled and I glued them up in their 90 degree angles. And they're looking pretty close to what I was thinking. I have no idea how well they're gonna surf, but before I can surf them, I need to glass them and make sure the 90 degree has enough strength that they're not just gonna completely rip off. So to do that, I'm gonna use three layers of six ounce on the outside and I'm gonna wrap the cloth like around the corner and I'll probably do the same to the inside and then I'll add some roving or chopped fiber into the crease here and along the edge just to help add a little strength to them and once that's done I will mold a futures fin tab onto the bottom of these so let's jump into glassing All right, I have the fin tabs cleaned up and I gave the fins a final sanding and polishing. I ended up having to do a lot of the sanding by hand just where the 90 degree is so tight. It was a little harder to get the six inch sander in there. So I just did a little bit by hand just to clean them up. They're not perfect, um, but this is just an experiment. If it works well, I'll make a set that's a little bit cleaner and a little bit better. But before I get into doing that, I just want to see if there's anything on this set of fins that will actually be worth moving forward with. And we'll see how they work. I'm pretty excited to surf these. I've seen a couple other fins similar to this and they look like they slide out pretty easy. So I think it's going to be really fun in the mini sims. Hopefully I can still do like my typical mini sim stuff, but maybe it'll be just a little bit different, a little bit easier to do big carves. I think they'll add a little bit of lift but we'll see how they work in the water. Um, so with that being said, here's the final fins. <laughs> 